Good morning, viewers. I'm going to do everything in my possible power to keep this appropriate because this is probably the third video today that I've made that something hasn't come out of my mouth that was untoward. So, look, long story short, not going to waste your time or mine. But I'm watching Donald Trump again. Do we, it's, 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 you know, it's kind of like watching, you know, a train wreck. It's coming. And you know it's going to devastate and destroy and, but you can't just, you just can't turn away. That's how this is unfolding before us, but we have no power to stop it. By us, the United States and nobody else. And we're willing to take blame and we're also willing to take credit. President Trump is calling his efforts a big success as Russia and its ally, the Syrian regime, accused of mass atrocities, now take over what had been a peaceful area controlled by U.S. allies, the Kurds, and protected by American troops. Let someone else fight over this long, blood-stained sand. The president said the commander of Kurdish forces in Syria, General Mazlum Kobani, went so far as to thank him. Could not have... I... Everything is wrong with this. Of course you're going to thank the guy who handed over your enemies. Now, listen, I'm not getting involved in that. I have no idea what's going on in Syria. Um, I mean, I know it's a hotbed, and, and we've always considered them terrorists. Israel... Our, our number one ally in the Middle East, number one, has considered them always. And when they, they declared Israel's destruction, not only did they declare Israel's destruction, but they were trying to build nuclear breeders in order to ensure that that happened. Here's the, here's the thing. Um, well, Israel went in, as we all know, this was some years ago and raised completely destroyed their nuclear and they just gave it up that stuff was coming from North Korea now here goes um, today I have no idea when that broadcast was I just I watch YouTube because I have nothing else to watch I'm not paying for cable but um I can't pay for cable. Cable's for rich people. If you want to pay for my cable, I'll be cool with that. But anyway, I can't afford cable because I'm basically, yeah, I'm poor by trash. Proud of it. So, look, long story short, now we got our president giving Syria to Russia on a silver platter. And, um, of course, Syria is like, well, thank you very much for handing me all of my enemies. That's the same as if Sarah Connor hands over John Connor to the first Terminator. Well, the second Terminator, technically. But that's weird because the first Terminator would have been in the future, which would have been trying to kill John Connor, so Sarah Connor would have had to hand him over to the first Terminator, technically, and then it's revealed in the second movie that John Connor was killed by the second Terminator. Um, but it's a little confusing, so I'm not going to go there. Mm. You know what? Uh, uh, it's time for medication. <coughs> uh, nightmare back problems, and it's only going to get worse. I know that... I'm I'm t I'm just afraid that from the car accident it's just going to get worse from here. So, anyway, turn your heads, kids. Am I worried about the vape? Yes, of course I'm concerned. Am I worried about dying? Absolutely not. 
that is the one absolute that I want to happen to me. Sure, I, you know, my job is a job. It's work, you know, and it's not supposed to be easy. Man, they did a terrible job in this place. They just basically piecemealed everything. Look at my ceiling. I reported that when I first moved in here. I still haven't gotten any new tiles. Because, I mean, this is a really nice apartment. Quite frankly, anywhere else it would be seven, eight hundred bucks a month. But because it's in Reading and where it's at. I'm not going to suggest that you go and buy vape. Please don't. I'm not your example. I'm not someone for you to follow. But this Donald Trump thing is traitorous. Okay? How can you possibly get away with something of that magnitude? It's clear as the nose on our faces that we were sold out by the leadership of our country. Um, this means that our Constitution means absolutely nothing. This is what Christians should be absolutely concerned about, is the fact that our Constitution has been put in the trash can in place of confusion and words. Because do you know who the author of confusion is? The, the, the founder of it, Babel, is Satan. He is the author of confusion. And now we have our president. Our president is not, is he showing the attributes of the Holy Spirit? Of course not. Any one of you that voted for Donald Trump that think he's a Christian... You're deceived yourself. It's not about words or actions. It's about the fruits of the Spirit. Of course, which is in action, I guess. But you know what I'm talking about. If, you, if you're a believer, then you know that this person that we've given this authority to was not a Christian. Never was. Never will be. Cheated on every wife. Gave Russia some kind of leverage over him. They put him in office. There was no provable collusion. But when you got a man that says, I can shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and get away with it, you can't do nothing about it because I'm a sitting president. A man that says, uh, I can pardon myself if I want to. Then what we have is a situation. We have someone that's not willing to abide by the rules. Okay? Um, like Putin. Putin doesn't abide by the rules. If uh, this was another time, another place, and I was another person, I would admire that man. But, you know, a snake in the grass is a snake in the grass. It sheds its skin once in a while, but that makes it even worse, even more dangerous. As any snake pet owner knows, a ball python, or a, particularly a, a um, what's the other one? Python or poo. Uh, keep wanting to say anaconda. But that snake will bite you. Once the skin starts and you can't see right, it'll bite you. Particularly if it's hungry and it thinks you're prey. Which apparently we're all nothing but prey. Every one of us, we're guilty of electing a man who won't leave. Did you see, of course you saw what the, the Republicans did by storming. Now that is exactly the type of stuff that, that we're talking about. And, uh, well, in my opinion, 
and this is just my humble opinion, it's game over. The words I told you so may never leave my lips, but we all know it's the truth. I told you so. Now, if you're not watching the stuff about the Mars photographs, and if you are watching it, two things. If you're not watching it, you should start watching it. But don't take their word for it. You got to go on the NASA's website and do the research yourself because your eyes are going to be open to something that is, quite frankly, unbelievable. But there is the remains of a huge civilization, probably a planet-wide civilization on Mars. Um, and personally, I do believe that there are still some things existing under the ground there. Or what we're seeing, we're seeing creatures. And, but they, it also could be the frozen remains of something that was there. Um, they're saying that they're seeing the, like that little bunny thing with the horns moving that look like a caterpillar sort of with horns moving across the surface of Mars. I can't see any tread patterns though. That's the problem. Um, but there are structures there. There are what looks like crashed spaceships. There's what we can just, you can see a skull sticking out of the sand. There are buildings. There's everything that every conspiracy theory for the past how many, how long have we had conspiracy theorists have been talking about? It's up there. So, don't worry, brothers and sisters. It's in the Word. It's covered. Um, I'm not trying to cause you doubt. I'm trying to open your eyes to the possibility of the possibility. I'm not telling people out there, but but look, there's no more. I don't have to tell you. Look for yourself. See for yourself. Make your own judgment. But don't ignore it. One way or the other, as, as a believer, you have to be prepared for this. One way or the other. Look, NASA has said it. NASA is the Department of Defense. So no, you can't trust them. But what if what they're saying is true, that we are going to be visited by creatures from another world, another dimension, another whatever, by 2025, because that's what they're saying. Look it up. Don't ignore this stuff. By itself, it means nothing. Whoa, oh, wait. But when you put the pieces together, it's one of them aha moments that Oprah Winfrey coined. Aha! I told you so. But you don't have to listen to the conspiracy theorists anymore. We have a rover that's going around on the planet. And that, of course, you know, they're going to keep on with their keeping on their disinformation project telling us that it's rock formations. Knock it off. The United States Air Force has come out and publicly admitted that they were chasing a UFO 40 feet long, shaped like a Tic Tac, with no propulsion, no, propul, no visible propulsion systems. CNN broadcast this live. The, the pilot of one of those aircraft talking about it said that you can see it on the you can see it for yourself on the video you know look it up if I know one of these days I'm gonna figure out how to edit all this stuff together and I'll do my own videos like that but right now it is what it is I have no idea I have no one to teach me so we're gonna get these dry bone videos until that day comes until they invent the technology where I can uh, edit something into my videos, but as for right now, this moment, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I think my 15 minutes is up, you have a good day, God bless you.